a great command of his fastball. He owns the upper part of the strike zone. You see the numbers in nine starts. Sliders down and into lefties. They haven't been able to catch up with his fastball. He adds in a changeup. And the first three innings, Matty, he usually relies on that fastball the first time through the batting order. We see if see if he does the same thing tonight. The next one two pitch coming to Pham and he got him to chase a slider one gone. Here's Fernando Tatis is three and two to Tatis and he strikes him out as well. Oh man he just hits the ground running. He is not a staff ace that needs an inning or two to get into the flow of the game. He comes right at you. And look at the location of this pitch. Knee high outside corner. Too close to take. It's Jake Cronenworth after back to back strikeouts have the fans every bit invested in tonight. And Cronenworth makes contact. It's a pop for Lindor and it's a breezy start to the night for the two time Cy Young Award winner. And they take their chances with a former Cy Young Award winner. Blake Snell won the award in the American League in 2018. The 28 year old first year Padre making his 13th start in a San Diego uniform tonight. Here's Francisco Lindor now had a 5 for 16 series against the Padres last weekend at Petco Park part of that kind of improved stage of his season. Sharply hit but right to Machado to Kim for one and easy double play. Yeah hit well but right at the wrong guy Manny Machado one of the best at third base and then they're able to turn it pretty easily and get Lindor by a few strides to ground back to work. It's Machado Myers and Profar middle of the order here for San Diego. Two one pitch to Machado a fly ball out to center. Kevin Pillar is there and there is one away for DeGrom from 0 and 2 to a full count. Here's the payoff and he made him chase that same slider did not throw him a single fastball. Yeah look at the tight spin on that breaking ball to a hitter. It looks like it's going to be a strike and is the case in most strikeouts. They're actually out of the strike zone by the time they get to the plate. 0 2 to pro fire and it's popped up. 18 consecutive scoreless innings for Jacob deGrom and counting an inning and a half gone tonight six up six down with three strikeouts as deGrom has run his consecutive scoreless inning streak to 18 longest active streak of its kind in the big leagues jam shot off the fists Lindor makes an easy time of it for route number two got him. 100 mile an hour gas up around the shoulders. Five strikeouts in three perfect innings for Jacob DeGrom. Fam struck out to start the ball game. 2 2. And he struck out again. Six for DeGrom. Looks like a strike till you swing at it. You see the ball kind of tucked back in his hand, and it has a little reverse spin, screwball spin, and even that pitch is in the low 90s. One gone now for Fernando Tatis Jr., also a strikeout victim tonight. He wanted the slider and he strikes out Tatis with it for the second time tonight. Seven strikeouts for DeGrom, three and two thirds into the game. He has not allowed a base runner through the first three and two thirds. And he struck out the side in the fourth. Best opportunity for either side to play to run tonight. Two runners aboard with one away, scoreless tie last of the fourth. And he loses him on ball four. Yeah, he's taking way too much time right now. Too delivered. Study long, you study wrong. VR at third, and then after back to back walks, McCann and Alonzo make up the bases loaded. Dominic Smith is grounded into three double plays this year. There's a comebacker for Snell to Caratini for the out at the plate, and they turn the double play in and out of trouble in the fourth. Seventh pitch of the at bat. Another slider and it's bounced past the second baseman for a base hit. First base runner of the game for San Diego. He laid off a couple of tough pitches and then just fought that one off and got rewarded with a base hit. But that was actually Alonzo that he sent that ball past. Pete was way off the bag. Myers runs, throw to second, is in time to get him. Nice throw by McCann getting out of the shoot Lindor right there on the bag and make a nice sweep tag. Two and one the counts of pro far he pops it up. It looks like VR has got a play. Lost a bucket of balls in the process. So he's in scoring position now for Billy McKinney who jumps on the first pitch 
And that's a fair ball. That's going to bring in Pilar back to back doubles. And the Skunks finally out of the box. One nothing New York. McKinney gets rewarded. Little hanging breaking ball because all he wanted to do there was pull the ball to the right side. But a flat breaking ball from Snell. Kenny gets the barrel to it and another double. You got the pitcher coming up right now, so they figured, well, make him chase it. But this is not your ordinary hitting pitcher. Machado now even with the bag at third and the two strike pitch to DeGrom a base hit into left McKinney scores here's Peraza three nothing Mets Jacob DeGrom what can't you do they've just taken Cy Young futures off the board <laughs> at every sports book on the globe boy I was some at bat breaking ball outside DeGrom and he hit it that way by design. See the infield end is trying to make contact. Jacob DeGrom has now driven in nine runs. He has allowed seven. One out for Victor Caratini. Ten strikeouts for Jacob DeGrom tonight. And that's how he puts away lefty. See down and in above the knees is a great pitch to hit. But down and in below the knees when it looks like a strike and you swing over it that's perfect pitch. Well Grady gives that one a ride. To deep right, best hit ball of the night. Miguel Castro, a second year Met, takes over on the mound. The first out of the bullpen for Jacob DeGrom, whose night is done with 10 strikeouts and six one hit scoreless innings. This was Jacob DeGrom when he was removed from the game after the sixth inning with the Mets trainer. Well, I'm glad they got that shot because that explains it. Fernando Tatis Jr. has also struck out twice tonight. There's a base hit. And perhaps more as it gets past Smith into left field. And Fernando Tatis Jr. wheels into second with a one out double. Jake Cronenworth with a drive to right field. And the Padres are right back in this one. Jacob DeGrom hasn't been out of the game for more than five minutes. And San Diego is back to within a run. Man, you got a guy like that, your horse. You just can't take for granted you're going to win the game 3 0. That pitch was middle middle. Look, they got the medallion on him. This year he's ratcheted up to a new level. 348 with runners in scoring position. Popped him up. McCann finishes off the night. Biggest crowd of the year at City Field, and what a treat they had in store for them tonight.